An enormous thatched roof structure with open sides covers the communal areas of this home situated on a rocky cliff overlooking the Pacific Ocean in Mexico. On the Pacific coast of Guerrero, belonging to the Bay of Zihuatanejo, lies the cliff house designed by Zosaya Arquitectos. Prostrated on cliffs, constantly hit by the force of the sea and amidst an environment of endemic vegetation. The house is developed as an element emerging from the rocks, mimicking the context thanks to the local materials and forms used, employing craft techniques and the vernacular architecture of the site. Two levels make up the house, accessed from the top due to the terrain conditions. Entering directly from the upper floor, where there is no access door, a large palapa welcomes you and houses a large communal space completely exposed to the surrounding cliffs. The palapa is made with regional materials like wood and palm leaves crafted by local labor, its shape allowing for natural light and cross ventilation, reducing energy consumption. The living and dining rooms of the house sit beneath this tall structure, overlooking a deck that surrounds the property and an infinity pool beyond. Some spaces on the upper floor have concrete walls and can be enclosed. These areas contain the kitchen, a smaller dining area, and a TV room. The deck extends from the common area on the upper floor. The main volume is based on two slightly rotated geometric elements, directing the views towards the Pacific. In this house, the topography was a determining factor in the spatial organization. Its form seems an abstract reflection of the rocks from which it emerges and takes shape in concrete. Its thatched roof seems to reference the foliage around it. As a finishing touch, the infinity pool is partially attached to the main structure, generating a sensation of direct connection to the Pacific. The blues brought to life in its infinity pool, propped like a vessel on cylindrical concrete columns, almost as if reaching out to merge with the perpetually moving ocean. This careful exercise of shaping and conveying materials, didactically linked to its surroundings, is also carried into the interiors of the house with a direction that is as disarming as it is definitive.
Each room features a variable level of amenities and spatial arrangement, but with a private terrace that opens to contemplation spaces facing the indelible landscape. Adorned with craft items created by local artisans and furniture and finishes from local craftsmanship, the volumes above the rooms, a result of the folded concrete above, come alive with vernacular anchoring amid the tropical paradise. Another smaller pool located on the lower level is contained by concrete walls that frame the infinite continuity with the Pacific. Most walls were left with exposed concrete finish, highlighting the material used in construction. On the lower level, the lobby connects to the four bedrooms. The staircase to the private area takes you along exposed concrete walls, allowing you to see the movement of the treetops and feel the exterior while being protected. The architects define the topography as a determining factor in the spatial organization of the house, with the cascading arrangement of the floor slabs resulting from the contoured arrangement of the terrain, as well as serving a direct influence on its circulation and access pattern. The typical hierarchy of how spaces in a conventional house flow from semi-public to private sanctums of the house is kept intact here, but on a vertical scale. Mm -hmm.